YouTube, what is good? It's your host with the most, helping people like you from coast to coast. Wave Man Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get 180 waves. But before I teach you anything, I need you to do me a favor. All I need you to do is go press the like button. Super quick, super easy. You can do it. I believe in you. Plus, I'm helping you out. The least you can do is help me out. You did it yet? Did you? Okay, good. Let's try to get at least 200 likes on this video. I know it's not much, but something's wrong with YouTube and my channel just is not hidden like it used to be but let's try okay so first off let me explain to you what 180 waves are 180 waves are very different in the naming scheme than all the other type of waves all the other type of waves basically go based on how the pattern of your waves are like 360 waves it's a pattern when your waves go up around your head in a complete circle horizontally those are 360 waves when your waves go around your head vertically those are 720 waves when your waves go all the way around your head diagonally those are 540 waves 180 waves have nothing and i mean nothing to do with the pattern of your waves 180 waves are basically just waves the placement of your waves on your head where they're located 180 waves the actual waves themselves can be in the pattern of 360 or 540 or 720. It's just a very weird thing. I don't know why they chose to name it like that. Honestly, most of the time I see 180 waves, they're just 360 waves with a certain haircut. And that's what they basically are. So how do you get 180 waves? Well, getting 180 waves is actually pretty easy. And I'd say it's probably easier than any other wave pattern. Actually, it's definitely easier because one, you only have to get them on the top of your head, maybe on the sides if you want it that way. And two, you have, you know, less area to cover with your brush. Three, you might not even need a do-rag depending on how you sleep. I still think you should get one because your waves won't look too good without a do-rag, but you don't absolutely need one the way you would need it if you had something like this these are like a hybrid in between 360 and 540 waves okay so let's list some materials you want to get for your waves first up get some palmy it doesn't have to be this specific brand but make sure you get a palmy there are other brands that are popular that you can find in stores like cvs walmart target and online like um amazon stuff like that and the beauty beauty supply stores. I forgot about the beauty supply stores. These brands are um, Murray's Pomade, 360 Style Pomade, Dax, Sport & Wave. Brands like this are brands you can find pretty much everywhere. Next up, one of the things you'll need, you're going to need a do-rag. I know, I just said you don't absolutely need a do-rag, but I mean, you kind of do. If you want your waves to look anything better than garbage then you're gonna need a do-rag very important very essential and last but definitely not least you're going to need a brush okay so now let me explain why you need each of these things let's start out with the pomade first you're gonna apply the pomade to your hair what the pomade does is hold your hair in place when you're brushing it it also greases your hair it won't moisturize it you do need moisturizer too but I didn't list that on there because not everybody even gets moisturizers and they can still get waves. I'm just listing the things you absolutely need. And a pomade is definitely one of those things. So go out, buy a pomade, rub it in your hair the same direction that you plan on brushing your hair. Keep in mind, whatever direction, wait. Actually, I'm gonna say that for the next material. Okay, the next material is the brush. What I was about to say is, when you brush your hair, keep in mind, whatever direction you brush your hair in is the direction that your waves will form. So if you're brushing straight down like this, your waves are gonna form like, you know, perpendicular to that. If you brush down on the angle like this, your waves are gonna form like this. If you brush down the angle like this, your waves are going to form like this. 
you can see how my waves are kind of slanted like this. That's because I brush my hair down like this. So whatever you angle, whatever angle you brush, your waves will form perfect. Your waves will form perpendicular to that, like an X. Whichever way you look at it, the waves are always going to form at that crossroad. Always brush at the same angles. Don't switch up. Don't one day brush like this, then the next day brush like that, then the next day brush like that. No. If you start like this, keep doing it like that. You start like that, keep doing it like that. You start like this, keep doing it like that. Because when you change your angles, you create something that you do not want to create. And that is called the fork. Forks. I mean, forks are probably going to form regardless because you're just getting started. But the main cause of forks is inconsistency. You can see I have a fork right there. You can see how like one wave crashes into the other wave. You don't want that. You want them to be nice straight lines going across your head. Now, the do-rag. What the do-rag basically does is saves your progress. It makes sure that everything that you did isn't for no reason. If you go ahead and brush your hair, then don't put your do-rag on. You brushed your hair for no reason, straight like that. That's like me getting in the car, going to Target, going in the Target, and then getting back in the car and going back home without getting anything. That sounds crazy, right? Like you're doing it for no purpose, no reason, yeah exactly what i just said when you finish brushing your hair put on your do-rag it's really that simple something else to think about when you get 180 waves make sure you get a haircut that fits 180 waves don't sit up here like this with hair on the sides and on the back and only have waves on the top what no get a haircut that fits 180 waves something like a drop fade a temp fade something like that something that actually fits that hairstyle the haircut and the hairstyle go hand in hand i have waves to go all the way around my head so i'm not going to get a haircut that cuts off hair in certain parts of my head like the back i might get a high taper from now and then but not going to get no drop fade or something that's the type of haircut that you would get for 180 waves. Just keep that in mind. One more thing. Actually, there's more than one more thing, but here's the first thing. When you put your do-rag on, make sure that you're not putting it on inside out. If you do that, you will get these very harsh, bold lines on your forehead. You see these creases in the top of the do-rag? You see how they're on one side, but they're not on the other? This is indicating that this is the inside because if you put this on your head, and then tie it, you're gonna get a line. It doesn't matter what do-rag you use, pretty much every do-rag you'll see has these lines on the outside and then smooth on the inside. I can even show you with a solid black do-rag. I'm gonna let you go ahead and guess down below in the comment section. Which side is the outside? Is it side one or is it side two? Which side is the outside? Side two or side one? Side two or side one? Drop your answer down below in the comments. Another thing, it doesn't really matter what type of brush you get, but I recommend that you get one that is high quality. This is a high quality brush. This brush is made by Smooth Styles. You can go get it from smoothstyles.com. You can see this is a curved brush with a long handle. These bristles are medium. I recommend if you get a brush and you can only get one brush that you get a medium brush but i'll make more detailed videos on different types of brushes and how to tie your do-rag stuff like that later but make sure if you get one of these brushes from smooth styles make sure to use my code waveman so that you get 20 percent off your entire purchase i was about to say 20 percent discount off your entire discount yeah go to smoothstyles.com get a brush using my discount code waveman for 20 percent off all right i don't want to make this video like 30 minutes long i think i've told you everything that you need to know 
But if there's anything else that you have a question about, make sure to go drop that down below. This is the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If they ask you who I am, I'm Wade Man Mike. So subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. Enjoy your day. Thank you.